so very good evening akam welcome back to akshar online classes okay so actually sensor guns are help to that uh, identify to that uh, sensor actually five types of the sensor guns are present first one is the eyes second one is the ears third one is the okay uh, nose tongue and uh, skin so uh, previous class we are discussing about the sensor gun of the eyes okay so eyes what you are seeing that eyes is the very simple organ only when you are study internal structure that is very complicated organ yes or no very complicated organ now today we will discuss about the another second sense organ so that second sense organ is nothing but the ear okay in that ear ear function okay ear function is the, the major two functions of that ear first is the maintaining a ear is the maintaining the equilibrium of the body that is the second function what is the fun first function ah so to hear it so ear function is the first function is the to hear it second function is the, is the to maintaining the equilibrium of the uh, equilibrium of our body maintained by the so posture okay so equilibrium of our body maintained by the ear is it clear next in the ear you know very well external ear middle ear inner ear is present how many ears are present three ears are present one is the ex outer ear or external ear second one is the middle ear third one is the inner ear okay once you can see this diagram is it uh, visible so first apart from the hearing ears help maintaining the equilibrium of our body the main functions of the ear is the first one to hearing second one maintaining the equilibrium of our body now coming to the point okay coming to the point in our ear what are the parts are present what are the parts are present so is it visible now see here this is the first here it is first so this is called uh, what we are called outer ear or external ear or pinna what we are called pinna pinna second so this is auditory canal what is that auditory canal here if you are see here so this part too so this is called ear drum ear drum next 4 5 6 these are called semi circular canals semi circular canals seventh one is the cochlea eighth one is the vestibular nerve eighth one is the vestibular nerve ninth one is the cochlear nerve and tenth one is the eustachian tube eustachian tube eleventh one is the utricular ear auscules or utricular this part is it is clear outer ear or external ear or pinna auditory canal ear drum so semi circular canal cochlea 
vestibular nerve cochlear nerve and eustachian tube and uh, utricular these are the parts of the ear actually ear is divided into three parts first one is the outer ear middle ear inner ear shall we go to that uh, each and every part now coming to the point so now coming to the point are you understand labeling now coming to the point okay we can study about that external ear external ear external ear also known as the outer ear external ear also known as the pinna so external ear is a visible part of the ear on either side of our head this is visible no okay so external ear is a visible visible part of the ear so if you are going to that marriages you can see pp pp like that eh? so that means it is a flap like structure flap like structure means okay like yes or no it is a flap like structure so that's why it is called pinna who is called pinna external ear is called pinna why it is called pinna so this is like a flap like structure and uh, this pinna leads to the ear canal the pinna is a crumpled and made up of cartilage this pinna made up of what cartilage not a bone okay so this is about that uh, pinna next have you ever observed wax like substances in your ear do you know where does it come from yes so pinna has a wax producing and sebaceous glands are present in the pinna who are present wax producing and sebaceous glands are present in the pinna so these are the these help to the keep the ear canal lubricated and prevent the dust and other particles from the entering into the ear canal wax producing oil producing sebaceous gland these are working as a lubricated in the ear prevent to the dust prevent to that uh, okay any waste material that is the prevent the ear canal also called so what is the ear canal is also called auditory meatus that is called ear canal also called auditory meatus so auditory meatus after a, a thin layer is present that is called tympanum or eardrum is present in the at the end of the auditory meatus so it is present between the external so this is auditory meatus is present between the external ear and middle ear okay so it is the shape of a cone and this uh, auditory uh, auditory meatus tympanum or eardrum narrow area connect to the first bone of the malus of the middle ear actually middle ear three bones are present that is discussed later are you understand external ear is it clear is it clear e actually that ear is divided into three parts one is the external ear and middle ear and uh, inner ear so this uh, external ear also known as the outer ear this external ear also known as the pinna okay so this is the visible part this is made up of cartilage okay this uh, actually this pinna leads to the ear canal 
our auditory canal it is a crumpled crumpled made up of cartilage pinna is a wax producing and oil producing are present these are the glands okay working as a lubricant prevent to the dust and other particle okay the ear canal also called auditory meter or tympanum so this is about the external ear is it clear now coming to the point uh, we will go to that middle ear middle ear in the middle ear for example question asking what happens if we do not have the external pinna what happens question asking what happens if we do not have external pinna that is no connecting ah yes 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 that the sound waves what are the waves are coming that is not entering into the uh, external ear so next uh, to second one is the okay second one is the middle ear what is that middle ear so in this middle ear very 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 important role play so received that uh, waves of the sound okay middle ear is the play major role collecting the information of the sound they can collecting that uh, sound so middle ear play an important role in the amplifying the vibration received on the tympanum membrane the chain of the three bones are present in this middle ear the chain of the three bones so that is known as the malus incus stasis malus incus stasis so these are the three bones are so this tympanum membrane connected with the malus malus is connected to the incus incus is connected to the stasis is it clear so tympanum membrane connected to the malus malus is connected to the incus incus is connected to the stasis so this malus incus stasis help to the same actually here oval window is membrane covered ending the middle ear which open into the inner ear through the round window actually oval type of window is present this oval window connected with that inner ear in the inner ear round window is present is it clear about the middle ear middle ear is a very important amplifying of the okay amplifying the vibration received from the tympanic membrane in this three bones are present malus incus and stasis malus is connected to the tympanic membrane and incus is connected to the malus and stasis is connected to the incus so this is about the middle ear shall we go to that uh, inner ear so now coming to the point uh, inner ear next uh, third one actually how many ears are present three ears are present one is a external ear second one is a middle ear and third one is a internal ear or inner ear ear in that internal ear or inner ear is a very 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 important what is the function of the internal ear and inner ear internal ear is already we have studied in that what is the function of that ear ear function is the first to hearing second function is to uh, to maintain to the equilibrium of the body of the organism maintain that balance this maintain to the balance and uh, hearing so the in uh, that internal ear or inner ear is the major function working on okay now coming to the point internal ear consists of a bony of the 
librial enclosing the membranous librial the membranous librial consists of the vestibule vestibule and three semi circular canals and cochlea so if you see that anything this is called anterior part this is called a, okay posterior part top one is the anterior end one is the posterior okay internal ear consists of the bony of the librea okay this is the enclosing of the membranous librea so these are the bony librea consists of the uh, vestibule three semi circular canals and cochlea the anterior part of the vestibule is saxillus and the posterior part is called utricular so anterior part is called saxillus and posterior part is called utricular these are the nerve fiber from them so form to the vestibular nerves now here very very important point anything ah huh. now coming to the point the semi circular canals are connected to the vestibule and filled with the tendonic this is a very very important point okay these are the semi circular connected with the vestibule and filled with the endolin these vestibules and semi semi lunar circulars together to form a vestibular apparatus this vestibular apparatus to maintain the equilibrium of the body very 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 important who are maintain to the equilibrium of the body who so vestibules and semi lunar circuit okay the semi circular canals are connected to the vestibule and filled with the endolin these vestibules and semi lunar circular together to form a vestibular apparatus vestibular apparatus this uh, vestibular apparatus maintain the equilibrium of the body pertaining to the posture and balance of the body balance of the body posture and equilibrium of the body so under control of the okay vestibular apparatus are you understand but so who is the helping of the uh, listening that is the cochlea that the uh, inner ear you know already vestibule semi circular canals and cochlea is present this vestibule and semi circular canals control to the uh, maintain to the equilibrium of the body posture and balance of the body is it clear account are you understand next next ah now you can see so cochlea is the spiral shaped structure it has the three parallel tubes called scala vestibula scala media scala tympani so the first two are the separated by the vestibular membrane so the second and third are separated by the basilar membrane scala vestibuli and scala tympani are filled with the perilin the scala media is the filled with the endolin it contain organ of corti and tiny cells are called primary sensory cells so these are help to that okay so especially cochlear nerve fiber form a cochlear nerve the vestibular and cochlear nerves join together and form to the auditory nerve auditory nerve 
so that means uh, with the help of the auditory nerve that information send it to the brain send it to the brain here very very important points they are given once uh, you can see okay so internal ear also consist bony of the librian that bony of the membranous librian is present it consist vestibule three semicircular canal and cochlea anterior part of the vestibule is called saculus posterior part is called utriculus nerve fibers uh, from them form to the vestibular nerves the semicircular canals are connected to the vestibule and filled with the endolymph so these vestibules and semi lunar circle together to form a vestibular apparatus this vestibular apparatus control maintain to the equilibrium of the body and uh, pertaining to the posture and balance of the body and cochlea is a spiral shaped so spiral shaped means uh, do you know spiral shaped uh, okay structure it has a three parallel tubes parallel tubes parallel tubes okay parallel tubes are present okay so these are called parallel tubes are called uh, first one is the scala second one is the vestibulus third one is the scala media and scala tympani okay first one is the scala vestibuli scala media scala tympan the first two are first two what are the first two scala vestibuli and scala media are separated by the vestibular membrane the second and third second what scala media and scala tympani are separated by the basilar membrane the scala vestibuli and scala tympani is filled with the perilymph and scala media is filled with the endolymph so it contain that organ that especially that that hearing that cortex especially tiny cells are called primary sensory cells are present so these are the these are the helping the so these are the cochlear nerve fibers are present these cochlear nerves vestibular and cochlear nerves join together to form a auditory nerve so in this hearing actually hearing auditory sensation first external ear collect that sound wave external ear collect the sound wave they enter into the auditory meter then they can sight to the tympanum the vibration from the tympanum reaches to the malleus incus and symphysis these are the magnify the intensity of the sound vibration the steps transmit the vibration to membrane of the oval window okay then they transmit to the cochlea the basilary membrane is moved to the vibration reach to the organ of the cortex the impulses are sent to the brain through the auditory nerve the hearing can be done according to the response given by the brain so first external ear collect the sound wave that is enter into the auditory meters after the auditory meters that strike up the tympanum the vibration enter to the tear okay so tympanum through the malleus incus and symphysis after that magnifying the tear sound vibration then they can enter into that inner ear okay in this inner ear the membrane of the oval window they can enter so then they can transmit to the cochlea so after that cochlea through the basilar membrane it is moved vibration reach to the organ of the cortex then after the impulses are sent to the brain the through the auditory nerve then brain what they are giving to the response then they can follow this is the total internal structure of the next for example later remove the grains keep the wide part of the
next functions of the year what are the functions so functions to collect and transform of the vibration produced by the sound and nerve impulse to be carried to the brain for the processing that is the main important part of the ear to collect and transform the vibration produced by the sound to nerve impulse to the carried to the brain for the processing second one is the to maintain balance of the equilibrium of the body these are the two functions of the very important of the ear to collect and transmit of the vibration produced by the sound to nerve impulses to be carried to the brain for the processing to maintain the balance or equilibrium next ask your teacher to in what way ears maintain balance for example we are standing balance okay so equilibrium for example we are sleeping we we are standing we are talking we are teaching so these are all the balance is uh, under control of the ear equilibrium of the body posture next caring of the ear what care will be take care okay don't insert any sharp edged things in the ear to clean the ear canal first important point what is the first important don't insert any sharp edged things in the ear to clean the ear canal second thing if any blockage occur due to the ear that use the ear drops or a few drops of the hydrogen peroxide oil to loosen it next a special a specialist may be consulted whenever needed if any problem regarding to that ear problem any pulse is coming from the ear you can consult to the doctor next it is a very dangerous to pour boiled oil sometimes uh, some of them they can pour to that boiled oil and leaky juices in the ear okay so sometimes it may cause to the deafness also deafness also okay so don't insert any sharp edged things in the ears to clean the ear canal if any blockage occur due to the ear wax use the ear drop or a few drops of the hydrogen peroxide oil to loosen it a specialist may be consulted whenever needed it is every day it is a very dangerous to pour boiled oil leaky juices in the ear sometimes it may cause to the deafness next what are the diseases of the ear okay so generally common ear diseases like formation of pus infections of the ear drum etc may be caused by the bacterial and fungal infection if any infections are occur one must consult to the qualified doctor and use the prescribed medicine okay so this is and uh, one more uh, notes also this is also they are given once uh, okay just uh, as what we can see externally as i is only small part of the complex organ so also it is the ear what we see the externally as the ear is also only small part of the hearing organ rest of the part is located inside the head the most complex part of the organ is hidden and protected within the bony cavity of the skull the ear function not only as a an organ of the hearing but also an organ of the balance and posture sounds are produced by all the animals for the communication for finding of the food for finding of the shelter for finding of the meal it must be remembered sound travel in the forms of the waves and here in this uh, book we have taken what we are taken okay capacity of the our hearing is limited we can hear the sounds in the frequency number of the waves per a second 16 to 40000 capacity only so capacity to hear the sounds at lower frequency remain constant throughout the life 
while the capacity to hear sounds of higher frequency decrease in the old age defects in the hearing may be corrected by using hearing devices okay and here also very very important bone conduction means some of the sounds especially loud noises can enter uh, the inner ear through the bones of the skull so this is called bone conduction but the sounds heard by this method are not uh, as clear as the transmitted through the tympanic membrane okay so this uh, this is a uh, especially so auditory nerves communicate information from ears to the brain auditory nerves from each ear divide into two halves one half supply information about sound sound and body posture and movement of the same side of the brain while the other half supply information to the opposite side of the brain there is a specific area in the brain to analyze the signal received from the auditory nerve so here this is the diagram for okay this is the another book structure of the semi circular canal first one is the this is called semi circular canal second one is the cochlea so this is about the this is also i can send it to you in that whatsapp if you have the any doubt you are keep in your mind actually in the year three time three parts are present so three parts are present one is the external ear second one is the middle ear third one is the inner ear external ear also called ear pinna so in this ear pinna that end part is the external auditory meter this is also called ear drum or tympanic membrane okay so in this middle ear who are present malus interspecies is present so this malus is connected to the tympanic membrane or tympanum or ear drum this incus is connected to the malus this species is connected to the incus next in the inner ear actually outer bony nibria inner bony nibria is present this outer cavity is located inside the bones of the skull so that's why this is called bony nibria this cavity is filled with the perineum and the inner cavity is surrounded by the membrane so that's why this is called uh, membrane nibria this is a uh, filled with the endolymph there are the three parts are present they are vestigial semi circular canal and cochlea okay this cochlea is a spiral structure divided along the length in the two chamber one is called uh, upper uh, both upper and lower chamber filled with that uh, endolymph the mouth of that uh, upper chamber is known as the oval window is closed by the foot of the stapes the mouth of the lower chamber is called round window is closed by the membrane the receptor cells which sends the sound uh, are located to the basilar membrane each cell stimuli fixes the basilar membrane of the head like a cilium projects from the each receptor sends into the endolymph the upper chamber the base the base of the cell supplied with nerve fiber so this is the tympanic membrane of this is entered and the auditory nerve so this is about that uh, ear any doubts regarding so that uh, sense organs eyes is over and uh, second one is the ear is over once uh, okay so the labeling of the part also very important outer ear auditory canal ear drum okay semi circular canal and cochlea vestibular nerve okay and cochlear nerve eustachian tube and uh, utricular so this is the part of that uh, ear is it clear okay thank you have a nice day tomorrow you have the exam diversity of the living organism once you can read okay tomorrow we have the exam